communication. That's a book that I wrote that came out uh, January of 07. Rethinking hair, we're just a couple things for the guys here, but I also do a lot of women. The idea, we talked about framing the Allinger idea. What makes that upper, that hairline look unnatural up there? It's like a picket fence, it's a straight line, you know? I mean, I don't use rulers to draw my hairline. I think that gentleman did, so I did a little correction. The angles are better, it's softer. You know what, I don't only take 35% credit for my work because this is a team. It's like building a car, unlike my, what I've just presented to you, and the whole team has gotta be perfect when you do this work, and my team is. What's up there? Plugs, right? Plugs. That's, I have actually on my website for all the guys out there, 1080i close-up video of this correction in full screen mode. That you can see this, how, how good the correction is. What's up there? Pubic hair, sorry. <laughs> bad, no, they didn't transplant from the, from the groin. But it's bad technique, it's traumatic insertion, and there's no density. This is, these are all one treatment sessions, okay? And here, pitting, do you see the little holes? It was traumatically inserted in place too deep. And that's a correction, these are all corrective works. And this is a guy that had seven transplants on the left, five scalp reductions, you can see the scar, that's one of mine. Okay, finally some, everyone asked me, why don't you have more Asian? I thought you do a lot of Asians. I do, but none of them allow me to use your photos. So I've got all these ones cropped off. This is a Chinese gentleman in his 40s. A Japanese gentleman just reframing the, the hairline. A Chinese gentleman, hairline work in central mid scalp. Yeah. Yes, I, actually it is. No, no. Uh, the idea here is that you harvest hair from the back of the head, okay. and it's it really is not uncomfortable whatsoever. But you take a little strip of it, and you close that little incision. You take the hairs and you move it forward. And the reason that you don't lose the hairs when you transplant it, it's a, it's a principle called donor dominance, established back in the 1950s by a gentleman named Norman Orenschweig out of New York. And the idea is that the hair that is genetically programmed not to be lost will not be lost when moved to a different zone. Because if you think of a gentleman that has no hair, he still has hair in the back. And that hair is great donor hair, and that's moved to another location. Is that clear? Okay. Oh, okay. This is... The, this, is a two, this is my only two session I'm showing you. That's a uh, Vietnamese gentleman, oops, sorry. Uh, one session in the front, and then one session in the crown. Uh, work back here, and you can see how precise those angles are. I just thought that would be interesting to throw a few of those slides in. And gentleman that really has no hair, I can't get the whole thing covered, didn't have enough donor density, but at least something up on top to get a frame. Same thing here, very poor donor density, but it was enough to at least get some kind of frame to the face. And female hairlines, it's a total different thing. If you want to ask me about it afterwards, I can talk about it, but I really truly designed beautiful female hairlines. Totally different from men. So I'm gonna just introduce my staff. And this, all my staff, by the way, except my mom, who's here tonight, I did with just Restylane. I'm gonna challenge her thinking about Restylane even. Constance, my patient care coordinator. No line fills, I don't fill lines, I fill volume. Marcy, only 34. Beth, who, who really is a wonderful lady in the back when, when we do surgery. Darla, who is a great surgical assistant. Vasilka, who does my hair with me, same with Darla. Diane, who's my boss. No, she really runs the surgery center and everything there. And my mom, this is actually a little swollen. This, she's here tonight. <laughs> and, if I don't, I can disclose her age because I think it's okay. She's 68 and uh, no cutting. This is, uh, this is only two months out. She's now close to three months out, so it's much, much better looking than this photo. But I didn't have time to retake the photo. And what's also nice, I do fat in the hands to get face and hands balanced. <laughs> so this is my building. You're welcome to come visit anytime. And I appreciate your attention tonight.